The Republican-led Joint Finance Committee drafted this bill before it went to the governor. Lance Vieser caught up with one of the Republicans on that committee to get her thoughts on the governor's vetoes. Well, Governor Evers issued 50 partial vetoes in the last budget and 78 the budget before that. So the Republican authors of this bill understood that there would be some changes. The Republicans had crafted the bill in an attempt to limit the governor's ability to make those changes, and still he was able to make several notable alterations. Republicans quickly condemning the governor's move to increase per pupil spending for 400 years, saying it will lead to massive property tax hikes. Republicans also criticizing Evers decision to reinstate DEI positions on UW campuses. But perhaps the biggest outcry was about the governor's changes to that tax cut plan. Republicans arguing the governor is not providing hardly any tax relief for middle class families. He cut out 95% what was the income tax cut and that is far and away uh, to middle class tax payers. So unfortunately um, people were looking forward to be able to have a little bit more money in their pockets but that's that's not going to happen so it's going to sit in the state's pocket Republicans could attempt to override the governor's vetoes, but it would likely not work. They do not have the necessary supermajority in the assembly, so they would need some Democratic votes.